Hello everybody, PillarsGCG here, and welcome to an archetype overview video on the Golem archetype of Pillars. This is a very exciting multi-faction archetype, so every single faction in the game, all six of them, have a unit card in this archetype. However, there are no tactics or pillar cards that support them, so it's a purely unit-based archetype. So if you're interested in playing sort of rainbow decks like I am, where you're trying to incorporate cards of many factions or all of them, this is a perfect one for you to do. However, this one also is interesting because they don't have to play together, I just think they could all pretty well be in a deck together. So I'm going to start off with the sort of big boss of all of the golems, the Fire Golem. Uh, it is a rare, as denoted by the gold uh, dragon icon, an Azar unit. Also, which is what the dragon icon denotes as well as the red card a level 3 art by tree fantastic art here and it has the highest power in the entire game with 2500 so it has 2500 power and 2000 defense so generally this would be an overpowered card even if it was just a vanilla with no ability however its ability helps nerf it its ability is freeze, which means it cannot attack or block, so it is essentially useless and takes up space on your field. Also along with the effect is if another fire golem is on your field, destroy this card. So it can't attack or block, and if you play another one, they would both be destroyed. So after that, I'm going to kind of backtrack and show off the other ones. There are two level one golem units, two level two golem units, and two level three golem units, all with alternating stat lines. Now with the art by speed here, we have grass golem, a common level one vitus unit. With the same ability, it cannot attack or block or have another grass golem on the field. But as you can see, another very high stat line with 1000 power and 1500 defense which is obviously the stat line of usually a level two at the uh, kind of lowest. It's a very, very high stat line there and would be a very good blocker, especially at level one, if not for this effect. Now the other level one belongs to the Karak faction and that is the Sand Golem, another common level one art by Mozzarella Steaks same effect, however it has 1500 power and 1000 defense, so a lot more of an offensive unit here. Next up in the archetype is the uh, Morvis unit, the Mud Golem, an uncommon this time, level 2. Same effect, art by Crustacean Connoisseur, with 1500 power and 2000 defense. So a, an amazing defensive card there. Next, art by myself, the Dallas uh, kind of water unit here, the Water Golem, uncommon, level 2, with 2,000 power and 1,500 defense. Then, we're going back up. Obviously, there's the Fire Golem we showed off, and then the other level 3 is the Steel Golem, art by Kiro, a rare level 3 unit, uh, same ability, but 2,000 power and 1500 defense so an incredibly incredibly good defensive card literally no card in the game can get past this defensively without buffs fire golem would tie with it and that is the card with the highest offense so amazing defensive card if you're able to play it however not only are level three is hard to get on the field anyways it can't do anything if it is so I'd be asking yourself, all right, what's the point of this archetype? Why would I want to include it? It seems like a troll card, except now there's six of them. Now that's where this next card comes in. Now, if you're familiar with the origin of the word golem, I believe it is Greek, and it means a body without a soul. So the way in pillars it works is all of these units are, they cannot attack or block because they're just empty shells. They just sit there don't do anything it's just a lumpless body that can't do anything 
and thus obviously can't attack or block. Now, the way you get around that is by a unit called Lost Soul. Now, art by me, this is a level 1 mercenary unit, uh, as well as Steel Golem is also a mercenary unit, I believe I forgot to mention. But Lost Soul is a level 1 mercenary unit with a very poor stat line, no archetype uh, denoted on the card. Very poor stat line of 200 power and 200 defense. However, as you can see, it is a rare. So Lost Soul has a very interesting effect. While it can be played as a general level 1 weak mercenary unit, its effect reads... You may attach this card to a golem you control to permanently remove its ability. So that means that if you're playing, you could say have a fire golem on your field and then use one of your actions to play a unit and that unit be lost soul. You would still need the slots on your field. There are four unit slots. You'd still need one open to play this card then you can use its ability to slide it under your fire golem as if it was leveling up but slide it under and attach it to it and then fire golem's ability is gone it can now attack and block and would not be destroyed if another fire golem was on your field now for balancing sake you might ask well then you could just load up your field with fire golems and just win the game or steel golems however the way uh, we get around this is in the effect of destroying the card because this card would have to be played before a lost soul could attach to it in which since you already had your uh, fire golem with a soul on your battlefield then the new one you played would instantly be destroyed. So you can still only have one on your field. So that is how this archetype runs. I believe it'll be very fun to see what happens. It's very high powered cards. I could I could see it ranging from maybe if you have a lot of mercenary cards, you can run four lost souls in your deck and you could even use some as a basic level 1 unit to just level up to a level 2 mercenary to help get a steel golem on the field to defend and then attach a lost soul to it and maybe not run any of the other golems you could also include every single one of these golems in a deck that would be very hard obviously to level them all up as they're all from different factions however it'd be interesting because as well as the fact they can only have four lost souls per deck but I could see maybe having uh, two or three in a deck maybe and building off of that especially if you want to have some of those cards anyways to have pillars to allow you to play those kinds of tactics anyways may as well maybe slide a grass golem in for defense I also believe this would be very strong as a generic card for having maybe you want to be able to block level twos well weaker level twos albeit with a level one you could throw a grass golem and a lost soul into your deck and just combo them out and use it maybe you just want the defense of this or maybe you want to have because 2000 is more power than most level threes have it's incredibly offensive so maybe you want to use a water golem to try to sweep through your opponent's team without actually having to level it up to three and use it that way. Now, there's a lot you can do with this archetype. I admit it's not, it doesn't do much together. However, they all have kind of the same characteristics where they need this lost soul card to be able to use it. I just believe it's a fun lore building exercise for how these cards these golems get a soul and are able to fight in the wars of the pillars universe i'm very excited to see how they're used in decks and perhaps in the future there will be support for 
uh, golems to be a better archetype. Maybe there will be ways to search out golems in particular, or perhaps just as more multi-faction support comes out for the game, the golem cards will become stronger. So yeah, uh, this has been the golem faction of Pillars TCG. Now, or the golem archetype, rather. So please leave in the comments below uh, anything you would like to say about the golems, ways you could see them in a deck, maybe if you think they're overpowered, or just if you think they're cool, please leave a comment about them. I'd love to engage in some discussion about the first archetype I'm showing off on this channel. Uh, please subscribe if you are new and check out the HTCG community their Discord link is in the description. You can find me there as long with a lot of other cool games. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.